As Broadway's bright lights shine once more, so are some of our favorite stars as they return to stages across the city. That includes Tony winner Laura Benanti, who will soon be at Feinstein's 54 Below for their Diamond Series. Hi, Laura. Good to see you, my friend. I am so happy to see you, always. I wish that you were here in person. I love when I when you come into the studio and I get to give you a hug, but I'm giving you one right now. Yes. Yes. I love it. Listen, I am so happy to say this, and I'm sure you're you're feeling happy about it. Broadway is officially back. How does it feel knowing that shows are going back or are opening back up? You know, I feel so grateful. This is, you know, really decimated the theater community. Um, it really is a paycheck to paycheck profession. And there yeah. were so many people who were out of work for so long uh, on a lesser level, but still meaningful to me is you know, it's my favorite place on earth I to know. be able to perform live for people. It feels like your limb has been cut off. I know. Like now I feel like we're like getting our limbs back. Yeah, it's getting our limbs back. And I can't wait to see you back on Broadway. But I know that I can see you before that because you are returning to Feinstein's 54 Below. And I, I know that you've performed there before, but does it somehow feel different this time? Yeah. The excitement that I feel to be in the same space as people it's indescribable. I, I cannot wait just to hear laughter and I know jokes and like, you know, talk to the audience and see how everyone's doing. And, I know. If, you know, find Science 54 below. It's a space where you actually can connect on that interpersonal level. Well, talk to us about what you're singing in your set list and what you're most excited to sing. Well, I released an album during quarantine, a, a self-titled album. So it's just my name, Laura Benanti. It's amazing. Thank you. I didn't get to tour to support it. You yeah. Know? That's really now how most artists, unless you're Beyonce, you know, how we right. sell albums is we go out on the road and then people buy your album. So in a weird way, it almost feels like the album release we never had. Yeah. Um, so I'm singing those songs. And then, of course, like the classic musical theater um, that I feel like people have come to expect. Yes, of course. Us. You have some other things going on, too. Um, you're in the new movie uh, that's currently out on Netflix called Worth, and you play a 9-11 uh, widower. You know, I know that you're uh, you're from New Jersey. You're a New York native, too. Um, but what did it mean to get to tell this story? It's a tremendous honor to be a part of this film. It is so beautifully written by Max Borenstein, and Sarah Colangelo, the director, is remarkable. And then you have Michael Keaton and Stanley Tucci and Amy Ryan and, you know, these world-renowned actors. yeah telling a story of the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund, which embarrassingly, I didn't know much about. I yeah. knew it existed, but I didn't know the details. Yeah. And what's so beautiful is it really shows a time when we were able to work across the aisle, you know, to just put aside politics and do what's right and be yeah. there for each other. And it gives me hope that we can do it again. Yeah. So, you know, I felt a tremendous sense of responsibility as a person born in New York who lived in New York, you know, from 18 to 42, um, you know, to get it right yeah. and, and to not glorify it. You know, I think that it's tricky. You don't want to fetishize pain. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the tone of the film got it so right. It's, it manages to be really hopeful, um, which is, I think what we all need right now. Yeah, we absolutely do. I mean, you've got a lot of other things going on. I know, you know, looking ahead, you've got Tick, tick, boom, which is like, boom. I mean, that's amazing. And also uh, Carnegie Hall again. So what are you most excited about? There's so many great oh, things. I'm excited about it all. You know, my, I have a very small cameo in Tick, Tick, Boom, but, you know, I'll do anything. For Jill. And he's just incredible. And um, I love him for bringing, you know, Broadway to people. People who can't come to us, he brings it to them. And I just yeah. love him so much, creating new generations of theater lovers. Yeah, well, you guys can all see Laura at Feinstein's 54 Below, October 5th through the 10th. For tickets, uh, head to 54below.com slash diamond. It is always so good to catch up with you. Uh, there was too much time in between this I last know, visit. I know, I feel that way too. I'm so yeah. happy to see you and I miss you. Me too, I miss you too. I'm going to try to come to your show. Please do.